I'm legally insane. And right in front of these adult-sized diapers is a box full of retro games that I recently picked up. I've got a backlog of about 300 to 500 games that I've picked up that need to make it into these videos. I got a pretty large variety here. This is just a bunch of random stuff that I got a steal of a deal. I'm always getting a steal of a deal. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting the cops to show up any minute now. They're going to be taking my ass to jail. So these are in no particular order. I'm just going to start grabbing them out of the box here. But we are going to start off strong. And we're going to go with a game that has been rising in value. And many of you are going to be unaware of that. I can guarantee that. This is NBA Street Volume 3, or Version 3. I think it stands for Volume 3. For the GameCube. In particular, the GameCube. That's where the money's at. PS2, hey, the money's in the PS2 version as well. But the big money's in the GameCube version. And that trend, it just keeps going up. It's going up for a reason. One, yeah, the game is underrated. This is your modern day NBA Street type of game. But in particular, why the GameCube version especially is going up. Not just because the GameCube version is always better than PS2. It's because the GameCube version is special. And they do that with a lot of games that are multiple consoles. They did it with Need for Speed for the Wii U. It's got some special Mario stuff in there. Mario uh, special hidden Easter eggs. Like you can find a, a tube tunnel to go down and find ex new cars and stuff. Nintendo's really good for doing that sort of thing to make their game stand out. One of the boxing games has the same thing. You can get the uh, Punch-Out character. I wish I could remember. It was one of the Knockout Kings, something like that. One of those boxing games. It's very unique and special on the GameCube version. So what did I pay for this? Where did I write this down? I paid, oh, not too bad, 19 bucks Canadian. Not bad. I found it for cheaper. I keep finding this one. I keep finding it. CIB, of course. Guys, I don't, I don't buy anything unless it's, CIB. unless it's CIB. If I'm going to keep it, at least. 19 bucks. It price charts, and it keeps going up. Keep that in mind. Price charts for currently $48.81 Canadian. So round up, I pay 20. Round up, it's worth 50. Is it going to 100? Probably. Doesn't mean it's going there tomorrow, though. And it doesn't mean it's going to do it in a straight line. Game prices go up, game prices go down. They're just like stocks. They're no different. You got bull markets, you got bear markets. Check out the trading card game world, collectible card game world. Same thing. You got bull markets, bear markets. Nothing goes straight up, nothing goes straight down. And anytime you're in a bear market, every single time you get all the negative Nancy's out there. Oh, it's all going to zero. The games are going to crash. Xbox 360 games are worthless. They're all going to go to $5. Well, I made a 6.9 episode series about that. And yeah, don't, don't look like they're going to 5 bucks, buddy. You're going to be waiting a long time before they go to 5 bucks. <laughs> a long time. Let me tell you that. You're not going to get your little Samson on the NES for 5 bucks either. So anyways, yeah, this was a steal of a deal. And I have found this a few other times on both. I got a PS2 version for actually $5 off of a seller. Because a lot of people, it's a basketball game. It's a sports game. These are the types of games that you can find for cheap or mispriced even at a pawn shop or a retro game shop where the stores aren't keeping up with the price trend. Maybe, you know, it was 20 bucks when they put it out. Now it's worth 50 Or... The seller just doesn't know what he has or the bidders don't know what they have. Because I get these and most of these come from private auction groups. As a matter of fact, everything in this box comes from the same seller. The box that you're seeing is basically all of the games that I got in the box. Okay, next up we got Super Mario Brothers 3. I sell these all day on eBay. To this day, this is an instant seller. Like people are buying these. People don't understand. They think, oh yeah, Mario 3 is popular, but everyone's got it. If you have an NES, you already have it. Well, that's not the case. And it's so popular, even today in 2024, if you have one of these and you put it on eBay, 
especially if you're the cheapest, it will sell within days. The last time I put one up, I had it up a little bit cheaper because it had some, the condition wasn't as good as this one. This one's actually much better condition than my previous copy. I put my previous one up for like 26 bucks and it sold within, it was either 24 or 48 hours. In fact, I think I underpriced it. You can sell this for 29 bucks, 30 bucks Canadian on eBay all day, all day. It'll sell like hotcakes every time I paid 11 bucks for it. I will easily make double my money in profit at least. So I'll make a minimum after fees and shipping. I guarantee I'll make a minimum 11, 12 bucks on this in profit after the fees and the free shipping, everything. In fact, I could probably even sell this local for 20 and somebody will come pick it up pretty quick. I don't know why they sell so fast, but they do. If you ever see one, pick it up. It's easy money. Why wouldn't you want to make an easy, easy profit? Why not? See, that's the problem with people. They're lazy. They, they don't, oh, well, what do you mean I have to put in a tiny bit of effort to make uh, uh, 10 bucks? Okay, well then quit complaining about not having any money. Quit complaining about, oh, I'm not making enough money. Uh, I'm so broke all the time. Okay, well, friggin' do something about it. How about that? You could make 10 bucks right there. Quit relying on free handouts and actually put some effort in. And it's not even that hard. If I see one of those for a deal, I'll pick it up every time. Every freaking time, I will pick it up. And I'm not driving my car around. I'm not wasting gas doing this. And even when I when I ship these games out off of eBay, I don't even drive my car to the post office. I have a post office just down the street. I walk there, I get my steps in, I get free exercise, and I ship the game. I didn't pay a dime in gas. I didn't pay a dime in wear and tear on the car. I'm, I'm out there making money. All right, now there, there are some even bigger steals coming up, guys. There are some bigger steals coming up. Oh boy, <laughs> frig, you're darn right there's some steals coming up. Okay, so let's start with Mario Kart Wii because I find this one all the time. I paid a little bit higher than I would have liked to. This is CIB. I paid 24 Canadian dollars, but Mario Kart Wii will sell for about 40 bucks all day on eBay. But this, I'm not going to sell this on eBay. I'm, I've already got like five copies of this, so I'm not keeping this. I bought this because I think I can easily get 40 local. And I think somebody will pick it up pretty dang quick because I got the wheel that comes with mine. And also, I did get ripped off a little bit. There's a, there's a dent in the corner. So that's especially why I'm going local. Because I won't be able to get 40 for this otherwise. Well, I mean, I could, but I'd have to be a scumbag eBay seller that doesn't disclose in the in the uh, text, in the description, that there's a little bit of a dent. Because I've gotten screwed that way a couple of times from some scumbag eBay sellers that angle the picture in a way that you don't see the dents. And they don't deliberately tell you about them. They do that on purpose. And I should give them negative feedback, but I don't. Oh yeah, did I, did I show you the CIB? CIB. You can find this one for a cheap all the time as well. And it sells like hotcakes. It's a guaranteed quick sale every single time. You will never find a Mario Kart Wii that doesn't sell as long as you're pricing it accordingly. And I mean fast sale. Oh frig man, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail guys. Super Mario Galaxy 2, CIB, pretty good condition too, dang man, friggin hell, this game ain't cheap, this game has been going up in value too, worth a lot more than the OG Super Mario Galaxy, what'd I pay for this, I know I'm going to jail, because I actually didn't know it was CIB, because in my spreadsheet when I bought this from the seller, I wrote that it was just CB. I thought it was box and game. <laughs> I paid $10 Canadian. 10 bucks, I'm going to jail. Price charts for $37.90. Easy, easy sell yet again. This one will sell all day, especially if it's a good, good condition. All day, all day. Hold on, let's double check, because maybe, 
I need I need to double check this CD. Oh yeah, see it's it's pretty good. I didn't, nothing wrong with it. Now chances are I already checked all the CDs before. I just don't remember. Alright, what else we got in here? We're saving the steel, the absolute steel, for later. Super Mario Galaxy was a pretty big steal, though. I paid five dollars for this manual, same seller. He tried to charge me ten because he, you know, if you're looking for a manual, you're pretty desperate. Let's be honest here. If you need a manual to make your game complete in box, if a seller actually has a manual that he's willing to sell you, he's got you by the balls. Try and buy manuals on eBay. They're expensive as hell. Sometimes the manual costs more than the game and costs more than the box or close to the price of each one of those because that seller's got you by the balls. Where are you going to get a manual? I'm looking for uh, a manual for a Wii game called Opuna, if I'm saying it right. And I'm never going to find one. I've been checking eBay every week. I'm always checking eBay. And I know that if some son of a bitch ever posts one, he's going to post it for 50 or 60 bucks. Because he knows he's got me by the balls. So I talked him down to five bucks. I said, buddy, come on. I'll give you five bucks. Just give me the freaking manual. You never, no one's ever going to buy this from you except for me. And I'm desperate. But, but give me a deal. Come on, look at all these other games I'm buying from you. Come on. So he, so he, gave, me the, he gave me the manual for five bucks. So now I got myself a CIB X-Men. For the Sega Genesis. Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm finding this one all the time. The Zeldas, I think, will continue to very slowly creep up for the 3DS. What I pay for that? Zelda, Zelda, Zelda Majora's Mask. I paid $15. But it... Um, CIB goes for about 32 Canadian, but this one is not CIB. As far as... Oh, shoot. You know what? I think it is. Somebody tell me if there's a manual. Because there might not be. Because, look, this is telling you how to look it up electronically. I don't remember. I mean... I wish I had memory of if I had ever seen a real, legit manual. Somebody write a comment below if this is supposed to have a legit manual. Because if this is CIB, then 15 bucks ain't bad. I'm keeping this one. This is for my personal collection. Maybe I'll sell it in the future, but for right now, my, my Nintendo DS collection is very, very small. Or D, my D, DS, 3DS, Game Boy Advance, and OG Game Boy. Very, very small collection. I, I only dabble in the consoles, but I do have a couple of freaking good gems. And I got some steal the deals on Facebook Marketplace in the past. They're harder to find now, though. I got those years ago, around 2020 time, where I got most of my steal of a deals. Okay, we're getting close to the good stuff, but let me show you my latest upgrade to my actual 3DS console. So I picked myself up a 2DS XL to replace my OG 3DS, which I have some screen problems with at the moment. So I need to find a way to sell it. I paid $115 Canadian, came with everything here. It's actually a pretty good deal. I would pay a lot more than that on eBay, and I didn't pay tax. And it is a perfect screen. It's flawless. I, I, I tested everything. I tested all the games. I'm very happy with it. Touch screen works perfectly. I don't need the 3DS XL, although, you know, maybe I'll upgrade in the future, but the 2DS one is fine. It's the XL. It's the better screen. And it came with a bunch of styluses, which we don't care about. There's a pen in here for some reason. But it also came with these cards. So if anybody knows what, what these are, let me know. I, have, I honestly have no idea. Do these have any value? A-5 is on it. They're numbered. 
Does this do anything? I'm see I'm not I'm not really a handheld guy. Like I can't imagine this being an amiibo. It doesn't appear to have any barcodes on it. Oh, here's a package that says AR cards. What the hell is this? AR card? Hold on. Let me take these glasses off for a minute. These cards are required to play the built-in application AR games. What? Wow, that's cool. And there's five cards. Here's a Mario, so maybe I should keep these, make sure these cards don't bend. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, and they're numbered. Okay, A1. A2 is Mario. A3 is Link. A4 is Kirby. A5 is Samus. And A6 is Pikmin. So I don't know much about those. They're pretty cool though. Hopefully they're worth something. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to save the best. You know what? Hell, hell guys, let's just do, let's do the best one right now. This, this was a unique deal. Very, very unique situation that I, that I got here. Well, actually first let's make mention Star Wars. I paid $3 for the Star Wars. I keep finding this one. This is Star Wars Trilogy Apprentice of the Force. This is quite possibly the best Star Wars Game Boy Advance game. And I think I wrote down what it goes for. It goes for... Oh crap, maybe I didn't. Uh, I'm going to say... Oh, there it is. Price charts for about $15. So... This is not my only copy, so I will be selling whatever my poorest condition copy is. Okay. Get ready to blow your balls off. Get ready. Get them washed up. Use the tea tree soap. Link in the description below. Wash your balls before you blow them off. Let me get this. I got a bundle here. A very unique bundle, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with everything. The bundle I paid... I paid $17 for the... No, yes. $17 for this bundle. Okay. I'll start off small. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So this is a Star Wars... Clone Wars Jedi Alliance game, DS. These are all DS games. But nobody bid on these because most of them were empty. There's no game. So this one here, I mean, I'll try to bundle it on eBay. Maybe somebody will want it. Maybe I can somehow get some money out of it. Star Wars 3, Lego Star Wars 3. This one worked out in my favor because I have a loose cart of this game so I can make it almost CIB and then sell it I'm showing you all the boxes empty games first this is Bakugan Battle Brawlers now I wish it had the game because this is actually a bit of a pricier game I think it's like 15 bucks at least 12.50 on eBay 12.50 15 bucks CIB somebody might even want that you know, I might be able to get a buck or two in profit. Mario Kart DS. This one worked out in my favor because now I can make this a CIB because I already have the loose cart. So as you can see, I strategically bid on this. I, I looked at some of the cases and said, hey, I can use some of those cases. I got loose carts, but it gets better. Hold on. Just, just wait. Slow, slow down. We got Lego... Ninja, Ninja Go, Battles Ninja Go Lego. This is not worth much, like five or six bucks. We got Lego Batman, the video game. No game though, but it's got the manual. 
And remember, this one, this one was actually CIB. Lega Ninjago CIB. Now hold up, it gets better. Now we're getting into the more expensive stuff. Just hold on. Mario Party DS. With the frickin' manual. This'll sell. This is an easy sell. Mario Party DS is not worth that much. It, I think it... I ah, crap, I didn't write it down, did I? No, CIB, it goes for $23.44 price chart in Canadian dollars. Loose is about 20 bucks. So somebody who has a loose cart, they'll buy this. This is easy sell. Now, get ready. Get ready. Mint condition, Super Mario DS. CIB. Nobody bid this. Nobody bid this up. I don't think... I think they, they didn't pay attention to the listing. It was a mix of box only, box and manual only, and some games CIB. Nobody paid attention to the CIB games. Mar Super Mario DS. Oh, and check this out. This is actually two to four players. And I collect multiplayer games. My, my goal is to eventually own multiple consoles so that I can have a friend come over. Like maybe, maybe I want to play this on four player, but I don't have four friends that have a Nintendo DS. So that's why I want to have the extra consoles in my own house one day for game night parties where I bring friends over here. I can say, hey guys, here's a Nintendo DS for you. Here's a DS for you. Here's a DS for you. Here's a DS for you. Maybe in some cases I have multiple copies of the same game when it's required. And then we can play some four-player games. Two to four players. Check that out. You see that? And, and it gets better. Battle up to three friends in wireless versus mode as you run, jump, and punch each other in pursuit of stars. That's incredible. You want to blow your balls off? Try this game right here. In fact, where's my gun? I'll blow my balls off right now. Where's my gun? Uh, I'll find it later, and I'll blow my balls off later. It, it doesn't stop there. Guess what else I got? This is a game that... I've seen this game multiple times now. People don't know that it's worth a lot of freaking money, and it's rare as hell. I don't even think it's a good game. Well, really, to be honest, I don't really know if it's a good game. This is Tamagotchi Connection Corner Shop number three. In particular, number three. This is rare as hell. I, I mean, and maybe it's a good game. I tried it. I didn't really understand what I was doing. I, and I kind of just turned it off, to be honest. But it, it, again, it does say it's actually two to six player. Holy hell. It's both two to four player with multi-card play, but also wireless DS single card Download play two to six player. What the hell? Look at that. Let's see if the camera focus that. DS multi card wireless connected games require one game card per player. Okay. One game card per player. Okay, so Frag man, maybe I need four copies of this game. <laughs> Dang, this is a freaking expensive game. CIB and I tested it like this game works. This is not a broken game The seller didn't screw me there, but he did screw me somewhere else. I'll show you that later CIB Play fun games in in 13 brand new shops give your favorite Tamagotchi partners new clothes and presents use the microphone to sing to your plants and more I think it's a kids game. I tried it. I Thought it sucked But hey, it's Going for 50 bucks on eBay. You want the CIB right now, you're looking at 50 over $50. At least if you're in Canada. The cheapest you can get right now, over 50 bucks Canadian shipped to your door. That's the cheapest available right now. And it price charts for $33.85 Canadian, but good luck getting a CIB for that cheap. You're gonna be paying 50 bucks, buddy. You want this game? 50 bucks. Well, I paid 17. 
everything there. 17 bucks. 17 smackers. I'm going to jail. <clears throat> Same seller, although he screwed me on somewhere else. So maybe it balances out. So I don't even feel bad because he screwed me on this controller right here. I paid $22. This stick is supposed to be 8 out of 10. He said it was tight. One of the tightest sticks he's ever seen. And he was right about that. It's a very tight stick. Look, okay. Turns that direction just fine, right? Up. Very tight. Very, very tight. Okay. It's going to be hard to notice this on camera. This direction, I can turn just fine. Okay. It's when you're going the other direction. I have to push as hard as I can to get it to go in that direction. That is not normal. Some hairs on it. That is not normal. This is an unusable controller as far as... I mean, I mean, maybe it's usable, but it shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't... All the other directions are fine. It's a tight stick. But to have to friggin' crank it super hard, like, come on, man. Do you really want to be using this controller in a game of Smash Bros.? A game of Mario Kart. That's an unfair advantage for the other players. To make somebody use this. So I decided I'm likely to replace the stick on this. And that's going to cost me $12.99 plus tax purchasing a stick replacement. So he screwed me on that. I paid $22 bucks because I wanted the eight, that 8 out of 10 stick. I'm willing to pay good money for a good stick first party Nintendo controller. I don't want that third party crap. So, you know, maybe he was getting me back <laughs> for, for getting him on the DS games. I also picked up two NES controllers. One of them is a little bit more yellow than the other one. I'm always looking for NES controllers that are with good D-pads. I have not tested those ones out yet. So that was three bucks each, six bucks. Got a steal of a deal on this PS1 controller. I got two of them, which I desperately needed because I need four PS1 controllers myself for four player game nights. And I'm not sure how many I have offhand because I'm also selling a PlayStation. So I paid $3 each, again, steal of a freaking deal. And if I don't already have four controllers, I will take, regardless, I will take the best four controllers that I have, and the rest of these will be getting bundled with a PS1 console that I'm going to be selling soon. As a matter of fact, quick tip for those that are still here, bundling games with a console is the best way to get rid of some garbage games. Just so you know, or doubles. It's the best way to get rid of... I got rid of so many PlayStation doubles and N64 doubles doing that. And lastly... Oh yeah, I got the hookups for the, the, three, the DS console as well. Here's the plug. Came with all the hookups. Lastly, I got an N64 console. Came with another controller that he also screwed me on. But it's not too bad. The stick was supposed to be an 8 out of 10 again. This guy clearly has no idea what an 8 out of 10 is. This is like a six or a seven. It's it's fine, it's usable, but I don't know. I mean, I'd like to replace it to be honest. It's usable, it's the controller that I would give a friend coming over, you got a game night, you need four controllers. You take the good one, you give your buddies the bad one. And you don't tell them. You don't tell them guys, because then then they're going to complain. They're going to think, oh, well, you know, how come you got the good controller? You only beat me because you got the good controller. Controller, Don't tell them. Just give them the controller. Say that, hey, buddy, they're all the same. If he complains, like, oh, the stick on this one's bad. Buddy, they're all the same. You're bad at the game. But we, meanwhile, you know dang well that you gave him a garbage controller. And he's getting whooped because he's using a, <laughs> um, a thumbstick that doesn't even make a left turn. You got to or a right turn. You got to crank on it as hard as you can. But you don't tell them that. Just give them a whooping. You come to my house, you use 
the, the second player controller. That's how it works. So I paid $43 for the console, all the hookups. And just like I said before, I'm planning to sell it. So I think number one, just the controller and the console, I could get 60 bucks for this on Facebook Marketplace. I know for a fact somebody would easily give me 60 bucks. Like fast sale. Maybe if I ask 75, somebody might even come pick it up too. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna bundle this with some of my doubles. Uh, you know, I got some popular games. I'm sure I've got two copies of GoldenEye. I'll throw a GoldenEye in there. I know I've got some Cruising USA doubles. I'll scout around, like maybe some sports games. And maybe at the end of the day, I end up selling this for 100, 120 bucks. Maybe more. We'll see. 125? Somebody might buy it, depending on what I bundle it with. Let me scout out how many controllers I have. Maybe I can throw in an extra controller. I can't sell a controller on eBay because it's too thick. You can't sell this for... You can't ship that for $2. I can ship a Nintendo Switch game anywhere in Canada for under $2. $1.94. And I can ship a DVD game that's a little bit heavier... I forget the exact price, but it's like three twenty-five or something. But a controller, a controller would cost me like fifteen bucks to ship this. So you want to do your sales local. I'm giving you guys some sales tips. Came with all the hookups, the the N64. So what do you guys think? Even with the busted controllers, I think I I still made out like pretty good deal. I'll replace this stick and then this will become one of my good controllers. Like, you know, it sucks, but what are you going to do? Le at, least I, at least I basically robbed him on Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's what you get. So, and, and you know what I learned from this experience? I'm never buying N64 controllers online ever again from anybody. Unless it's a third party one from the store, like a retro fighter or something. Go to, if, if you're looking to buy an N64 controller, go to your local retro game store and actually check out the sticks. Because people either, one, they don't know, or two, they're lying. Like maybe this guy legitimately thought this is a super tight stick, it's a good controller. Maybe he just moved it like for three seconds. I'll give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. But even then, when he says this one's also an 8 out of 10, uh, that's when I get skeptical, buddy. I think you scammed me. It's a little bit wiggly. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to get to over 9,000 subscribers. On my way to collecting over 9,000 retro video games and Nintendo Switch games. I, I love the Nintendo Switch. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, consider getting one. Maybe you got the PS4 and you're thinking, well, all the games that are on the Switch, they're on the PS4 too. I'm telling you, there's something magical about a Nintendo Switch. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the cartridges. Put, go back to a console that uses cartridges. Even though they're tiny, you still get a little bit of that cartridge feeling, almost as if it were a Super Nintendo cartridge or an NES cartridge. That's, that's, what I think, that's where I think the magic's coming.